In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a loaf of bread. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make it from scratch from some plain flour. We're gonna lay it proof, cover it in sesame seeds and bake it in the oven. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Paulie's Kitchen. My name's Paulie and this is my kitchen. In today's episode, we're gonna be showing you how to make some bread. That's right, we're gonna make a delicious loaf of bread and it's gonna be really easy to do. It's absolutely really simple and tastes so much better than the store-bought stuff, which unfortunately, due to the coronavirus at the time of recording, is gonna be quite difficult to get hold of. But not to worry, do remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you find out when I release my next video, which will be really soon. But in the meantime, guys, let's dive straight in. I'm gonna show you exactly what you will need, which is this. Don't worry if you missed these ingredients, I will be putting these in the info box below, so do check out down there and you can catch them all down there. So as well as those ingredients, we are going to be needing a little bit of oil as well. But anyway, we're gonna dive straight in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bowl and we're gonna take our water and just pour that into our bowl like that. We're gonna take our yeast and we're gonna gently sprinkle that in. We're also gonna take our sugar and we're gonna sprinkle that in as well. And now we're going to take our salt and we're going to pop that in there as well like that. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our whisk. So we're going to keep stirring that until all the salt, sugar and yeast is all dissolved in the water. And now all we're going to do, we're going to leave that for three to four minutes, let the yeast activate. So now that our yeast is activated, we're going to take our sieve and we're going to take our flour. So we're going to pop this into our sieve and we are going to gently sieve it through. Now that our flour is in our bowl, we're just going to mix this in with our spatula to begin with. And then once it all comes together, I'm going to roll up our sleeves and get stuck in. Now if your flour is a little bit wet, and a little bit sticky, you can always add in a little bit more flour. When it gets to this stage, we're going to take it out of the bowl, put that on our work surface and we're just going to knead it in. So once it looks like this, and your fingers stick to it only just for a moment before it lets go, you know it's ready, and we're gonna take the bowl that we mixed it in, we're gonna pick this up, and we're gonna place it into our bowl. We're gonna take our oil, and we're gonna pour a little bit of oil in there, about a tablespoon. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it over and fold it. And all we need to do from now is grab our cling film, grab our sharp knife, and just seal the top. And we're gonna leave our dough like this for about 45 minutes to an hour until it doubles in size. So our dough's been resting for about an hour. So let's take off the cling film and see what she looks like. As you can see, it's nice and fluffy. Turn it out. And what we need to do is we just need to tap all the air out of it. Now let's pop that back into our bowl. What we're going to do is we're going to take a great big tray and I've pre floured this already. We're going to take our flour out of here and we're going to roll it into a big thick sausage shape and we're going to place it on our tray. So now that our dough is on our baking tray we're going to take a knife and we're just going to score four or five slits into our bread and we're just gonna sprinkle on sesame seeds. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this, which is a damp tea towel, and we're gonna put this across so it doesn't dry out. So our bread dough's been under this tea towel for about 35, 40 minutes. So we're just gonna take this off and it looks absolutely incredible. All there is to do now is to take this and pop this in the oven, and bake it 180 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. There we go, have a look at that. How nice does that look? So yeah guys, that's how you bake a loaf of bread. It's really simple to do and doesn't take much time. And if you give it a gentle knock, it has that lovely hollow sound to it, which means it's perfectly baked. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Do remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you do find out when I release my next video, which will be really soon. In the meantime guys, happy baking, stay safe, look after each other, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you, bye bye.